Okay, hello, and welcome to the Collective Energy Reading. This is just going to give me more of an update on Mother Earth. What are things looking like? Energetic updates, and so on. So, we are going to start with my Hip Hop Queens deck and get the overall energy that is flowing through Mother Earth right now. So if you could just give me a card that, or a couple that sum up oh, your energy. Distressed, confused, tired, huh? <gasps> That's fair. You got left eye, vision, got Mia X strength and young MA for potential <sighs> okay what do you wish to tell me collectively wise I get it you're tired things are shifting oh shoot Ten of Swords Reverse, Chariot, mm -hmm. The Lovers, mm -hmm. whoops, 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 wow, The Magician in Reverse, oof, King of Swords, oof, Eight of Swords, Upright, I just want to make sure you guys can get a good look at this. Hold on. Give me one second. I just want to make sure you all have a really good visual of this. Oh. What is this? The tower card. Ooh. Judgment in reverse. Two of swords reversed. Nine of pentacles. Okay. <sighs> it seems like a lot of people are going through a period of total transformation it seems like a lot of people are figuring out things that don't really fit it seems like during quarantine people got accustomed to a lot of stuff and kind of just being in this kind of suspended state where they kind of some people not everyone kind of took what they thought they could get in terms of job opportunities lovers and things like that and now that things are kind of getting back to some type of some type of new normal um it seems like a lot of people are choosing to abandon what they were originally comfortable with what felt comfortable to them what felt trusting to them um a lot of people are, are kicking things into gear and some people are getting left behind and it's causing some major confusion for people because it's like, well, this is what I was comfortable with, you know, this is what got me through those two, two, three years, you know, this is what really made things happen for me almost, um, no matter how painful or confusing it was. Um, no matter how much it got you into this feeling of even potentially feeling like you weren't good enough, 
um, for this kind of opportunity, person, you know, place or thing that kind of fell into your lap. Um, but now that you're realizing your worth, you're realizing your full potential, a lot of people are coming out of that moment of like not making decisions and acting blind and, and, and acting like they don't really know what to do into really kicking things into high, high gear, leaving things behind, realizing that what once satisfied them no longer satisfied them and that they have to start over and build these new foundations. And I think a lot of that comes in the form of tra traveling. It comes in the forms of dinners with new people. I think it comes in the form of just, just open and honest communication. Some people here aren't willing to have that open and honest communication because they feel like it will undo a lot of what they've learned to build for themselves and a lot of what they've kind of put together to be this sort of comfortable feeling but it's not helping you it's not serving you in any way if anything it's stressing you out it's stressing you know <laughs> the world out so to speak um I feel like and when you put yourself in that position where you kind of put up with things just because you don't do yourself a great justice you're actually harming yourself you're harming the people around you too who who think that this is something that you want who think that this is something that's bringing you joy and it's not um i see a lot of new job opportunities coming up for sure too for some people for taurus it sounds like taurus virgo capricorn pisces and aquarius And those who prominently move within the sign of Venus. I, I'm not sh Spirit just wanted to reiterate that. I don't, I'm not too, I'm not 100% into astrology. So I'm not sure what that means other than um, moving within the sign of love. Or maybe you have prominent um, Venus placements or f whatever. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with which house your Venus falls in. And whether or not that's the ruling planet in your chart that might be it too or if you're like me and you work within planetary hour confinements um, if you don't know what that is you can download the app time nomad and it'll tell you which like planetary hour that you're you're sitting in um, a lot of people use that to help with manifesting or with particular projects like they won't do anything outside of venus hours or jupiter hours or you know whatever whatever it is that they're attempting to manifest you use particular planetary hours for like travel and love and money okay what else do you have for me i realize that my tarot cards are getting bent to hell i my guides and i just prefer shuffling that way i get a lot more information in just through the shuffling kind of like how a lot of people will draw or fidget Oh my. Judgment card I've read again. Yeah, it seems like letting go of, of negative attachments and tendencies and realizing that what you thought was fulfilling wasn't fulfilling, making a judgment call and moving forward. <laughs> so don't you just love when you say stuff and then the cards basically just confirm the download? I'm floating in space right now. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, nope, they're saying upright internet opportunities so for those of you who are entrepreneurs trying to become models or having careers anything to do with your social standing online it's going to pay off for a good majority of you not everyone i cannot speak for everyone within the collective um there are way too many people those who i'm energetically aligned to i will have to say that this is a pretty good sign i am also an entrepreneur Ooh, the two of wands okay 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 i like that this is my opportunities card like for me personally because he's standing there and he's looking out at the world like to me this guy is um okay this is just me everyone has their own special connection to their tarot cards but to me this would be like if the magician did something like if he came out of uh it's like if the magician had spent time manifesting and doing things and putting things together in the lab or at the altar or wherever you do your spiritual practice and then stepped out of that and applied it to the real world. That's what I mean. That's my like 
let's let's do this let's go places let's do things card queen of wands yes what's after that <sighs> five of swords reversed which is good moving out of that Ooh, three of swords reversed yep i knew it moving out of the energy moving out of the energy the knight of pentacles in reverse hmm Someone's coming out of moving into really, really, really slow energy. Someone was moving at a very particular pace because they thought it was serving them. And they're learning that there's much more to this. They don't have to move really slow. They don't have to. They do have to come correct, but they don't have to move as slow as they thought. You can actually pump out more content and do things at a faster pace. It's not going to stop your progress if you go from posting one video a week to five videos a week. At least you're pumping out content, but don't overdo it. Um don't stress yourself out before you even really start and now i'm being asked to use a different deck i don't know if you can see it it may not show up but i'm gonna use my masonic tarot so just give me a second okay changed the setup just a little bit and got my masonic um tarot um i love these cards i'm just gonna show them to you I may have done a reading with these already. Maybe not. These are so cool. So. Mm, please guide me. Guide my hand. Guide the cards. To fill me with the information and knowledge that you let me have. Okay. What do we have here? The Eight of Swords reversed. We just had that. We literally just had the Eight of Swords. This is new, this is new energy, okay. Six of Swords, Six of Cups. Interesting, interesting. Newer energy, right coming into the end of April, May, and the start of June. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and listen. Someone will be offered a really big opportunity. But make sure to read the fine print because not everything is as it seems. It seems like this is more of a higher up career, getting involved with going to events. Um, someone saying that they really like your energy and you could be an asset. Figure out what that means to them first. Um, seven of Swords, upright. A card just fell. Oh, you got the High Priestess. That's a beautiful card, by the way. The High Priestess. Five of Cups. Let's see here. Two of Cups. Mmm, emotional energy. Tons of it, too. Yeah, oh, well, the High Priestess, when I was just talking about using your intuition and reading and figuring out what it means to them when they say they like you energetically. You got the King of Mallets. Mmm. Ace of Swords. Woo! I apologize, everyone. I did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness. This dragon's blood just fell over. So, I don't know. Maybe you need to cleanse. Use some good dragon's blood. Uh huh. The Seven of Gold. Knave of Gold reversed. He's two of mallets and a chariot once more and the high priest on the bottom of the deck my goodness and the devil in reverse again you can't make this up two of swords in reverse again I'm through <laughs> I am through these are just repeating cards for some of this information you have the you have a perfect suit here with the high priestess and the high priest it would seem as though some of your spirit guides feel as though some of you have passed the test and are leading you to someone who is of equal and or greater power they really match your energy um 
as well as spiritual beliefs and things like that. This is someone who you'll be spending a lot of time talking to, um, possibly learning from, just having an overall beautiful connection, whatever the connection may mean to you. You really are coming out of this energy of acting like you're blind and you can't see. <laughs> you are stepping into your power. You're accepting more things. Um, especially now as spirituality kind of starts to fall off with some people who claimed that they were all about it but now that we've kind of moved into a different time um they're not too into it anymore you notice that they're not like heavily you know invested in spirituality anymore or honoring their ancestors or reading tarot or helping the collective into the future it was kind of just something to do during lockdown i hate people like that excuse me no i hear you i don't hate people like that i disagree with their choices <sighs> um guide me speak through me guide me speak through me guide me speak through me don't let confusing times cause you to be like confused in general oh is this with with the acting like they can't see okay there's been some moments where you've been really confused in a couple of things, collective in general, and you've kind of allowed it to allow you to be in the situation of feeling like you really don't know where to go, like you can't see, like you don't have guidance. Um, and I hate to say it, but some of this really does have to do with the fact that some of you, some of us, because I do the same thing, are pretending like we don't initially see the signs or the answers from spirit because we want it to be something that it's not. Um, when this happens, we create roadblocks for ourselves and cycles that we have to go over again um, so that we can really learn those lessons. But what I'm hearing is that a good number of us have come out of that. We are, we are getting a better relationship with spirit. We are, we are gaining more knowledge. We are gaining more power. We are becoming this really nice, vibrant, beautiful light. Some of you have green auras, very bright. Some of you have very bright pink auras or perhaps yours is a little bit like mine which is more of a rainbowy color some multiple colors um you're really moving and you're getting a lot of energy and warmth and love from a whole lot of sources this could just be from your talks with spirit every day from your connections with mother earth when you go outside and meditate because the sun's coming out or it could be from the things that you've learned and the, and the adventures that you've gone on through astral travel I've noticed that too. I've been having a lot of past life reoccurrences where I'm visiting things that have already happened to me in other lives and I'm learning and I'm waking up and I'm writing down these things and I'm remembering these lessons because they're so vital um, to my progress in the future. So remember to make sure that you're writing things down because your dreams are not always dreams. Sometimes you're traveling back to a place or a time where you previously existed so that you can gain this knowledge that you may not hear when you're awake and active. Um, is there anything else, Spirit? Is there anything else you want me to tell them before I start to unwind and relax and close the close the the collective channel is there anything else sickness okay sickness be mindful of what's going into your body of course <laughs> we always have to be mindful of what's going into our bodies but a lot of us are teetering between healthy and unhealthy we're like right at the very edge where we could just we could really just be healthy if we wanted to then we cave and we order that food or we eat there or we do this or we do that and it ruins the diet and blah 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 spirit is saying that now is the time to get you a really good blender get you some really fresh vegetables and some fruits and really get your body together because this summer a lot of us are going to be more into this thing of like eating from the sun like gaining um energy and feeling full just by being out and meditating in the sun or laying in the sun however you choose to describe it whatever you, what however whatever makes you more comfortable um and eating that little bit of fruit or a little bit of vegetable and you don't really want to um eat or overeat and a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're choosing not to be inside anymore so we're not eating because we're bored or eating because we're sad we're eating because we need energy notice when you're busy and doing things you don't really eat as much because you're not you know bored you're not doing nothing you're oh that's a lot of information <laughs> yes but make sure that you're aware of what's going into your body hmm. 
if you pray to your ancestors make sure you go up to your altar once a day and pray to them talk to them communicate what you want because you are shaping your own reality and you have the ability to do that right at your altar or your sacred space whatever you have going on within your respected religion and or practice don't be afraid to ask for things asking for things is not selfish they hear you they definitely hear you um even when you say things in your head i don't know um how many people have that i have that all of the time where i think technically out loud in my mind um and i'm like you know i really wish i would blah 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 and then my spirit team goes you could just ask you know you can say this out loud and we'll help you figure that out um, so really speak, speak out loud. They hear you. It's not selfish. It's not selfish to want this. It's not selfish to want to progress like this. It's not selfish to want to be able to afford something very specific. And it's not, it's not selfish to want these things for yourself. They're saying that they hear you. Mm. Queen of Chalice is reversed. Okay. And the Ace of Gold. Both upright. Yeah, they're reiterating that it's not selfish and to make sure that you fill your own cups first, to make sure that you really have your Empress um, energy more so on lock or Emperor, depending on, uh, no, 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 Empress. No, I had that right. I had that right. Empress energy. You can be male or female, whichever you identify with, and still give off Empress energy, that motherly, loving, nurture, nurturing type energy. Hold that back a little. Hold it back a little. You don't want to give it to everyone. Make sure that you're being the mother to yourself. Make sure that you're giving back to yourself emotionally. Make sure that you're full. Make sure that you're happy and content before you attempt to give any more cups to anyone else. Especially if your money's not tight because money's not right. Because you may meet up with someone who fulfills you emotionally in so many ways. And, um, you know, you want to do things for them and they want to do things for you. But you're not really stable in all aspects of your life. Um, you just really want to have that independence. You don't ever want to have to depend on your partner in that way going into a relationship, you know? So that's it. Spirit doesn't really have anything else to reiterate. So um, that's it. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave off a lot of information. I hope I was able to confirm some stuff for you. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening, depending on where you are. I hope that you enjoy your time. I hope that you're filling up your own cups. I hope that you continue to move out of this energy of indecision, out of this energy of confusion, out of this energy of if I do this for myself, am I being selfish? Um, I really hope you just keep progressing forward in a really positive manner because it seems like a lot of you are really growing and I'm so happy for you. But yeah, that's what I've got. So... Tune into the next video, like, subscribe, share, or don't, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!